Hi, hello. I am the Cyber Reef Guru. Thank you so much for watching. Today I have received a wonderful delivery in the mail from John at Huntington Builds. And that are the magnetic swappable plates for your dust boot for the Onefinity, although it will work for other CNC machines as well. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to open this up. I'm going to get them installed. I'm going to use them for a cut. We're going to give it a go. We're going to kick the tires and we'll see how well they work. And then we'll come back. We'll wrap it up at the end. All right, let's get on with the video. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing opened. Now, before I open the package, there's one thing I'd just like to point out. I think this is awesome. I like this sticker on the outside. Super cool. Guess what? Your order is here. Thank you. Um, this is this kind of branding and this kind of nice personal touch, I think, is is really nice. And uh, so kudos there. So let's go ahead and get this guy opened up. Let's see what's in the box. All right, got a nice. Thank you for your order. <laughs> we'll read that. Okay. Wow. Look at this. This is awesome. Look at this packaging. All right. Got a sticker. I am a big fan of stickers. I will put that up on the sticker wall. We have some nice. Uh, curly cues as they were some uh, paper shavings here so let's make sure we get everything all right we got the magnets there's something that's magnetic here look at that wow they're super thick that's a lot thicker than i thought they were going to be that's got to be an eighth of an inch instead of the uh, 16th there so that's a nice 3d printed holder of some sort huh awesome that's so, even got a piece of candy. All right. So we have everything pulled out of the bag here. I think this is awesome. So we got a little extra set of screws here, just in case. It literally says, just in case, extra screws, extra magnets. That's really useful. I've almost lost these screws before. Uh, you have the different plates here. So you can see here how they just snap in. Now obviously the magnets here have a particular uh, direction that they go into. So if you try to stick it in upside down, it kind of just falls off. So click it in the right side. Magnets facing down. All right. And then three different sizes here. Look at this. All right, so big bit, medium bit, small bit. This would be perfect for that quarter inch end mill. Uh, and then I actually have a one inch bit. I'm about to use, which is why I unboxed this. I think that's really awesome. The only challenge here I'm going to have, I can see, I guess I might even be able to just leave them all on. <laughs> that would be interesting. Um, I'm going to make sure that I don't misplace these. Uh, so I'll have to uh, maybe create myself a new holder for these. But let's go ahead and get this thing taken apart. Uh, Let's get it cleaned up actually a little bit too. Get the screws in. Uh, awesome. Let's get on with it. All right, so I have the teeny tiniest little Allen wrench that I have. I think it's a 2.5 or 2 millimeter if I remember. Uh, we will loosen these screws up a little bit. Might end up having to take them out completely if I remember from when I've done this before. You have to take at least one of them out all the way to remove the shield, I think you can leave the two in. Pull this guy out. Now you can see here, uh, I got a little bit of super glue on there. Like I said, I destroyed <laughs> this dust shoe. It ran into the machine actually um, on the right hand side and got jammed up. The machine kept going, the dust shoe did not and it cracked. So a little super glue. Maybe someday I will replace it. We will see. All right, so let's go ahead and loosen these up a little bit more to get that thicker plate in there. I do appreciate the fact that John included the extra screws. Looks like that one wants to come out. All right, so now here's the question. What's the best way to mount this? I suppose I want to mount it down like this, right? So I can just pop these on and off. But if I mount it up, curious, I can just pop them off from the top. 
then that way there's no way that it would pop off. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on the top, see how it goes. If there's a desired direction or a specific uh, direction that this thing's supposed to go in, uh, to John or anyone watching the video, please feel free to leave your comments down below. Tell me that I am not bright and that I need to read the instructions or follow the manual or go watch a video. This is what I'm going to do. Now, here's the advantage of kind of what I consider the maker community and these kind of community sort of uh, projects here that just really upgun the skills of these machines, right? Uh, it, it doesn't matter <laughs> which direction maybe it was designed to go or supposed to go. If it works for me in this orientation, then that's fine uh, as far as I'm concerned. So, like I said, I'm going to start with a one inch bit here for my next milling operation. So, the uh, magnets go up, pop that on just like that. Um, that's cool. I am super excited by this. You know, one thing I just occurred to me is I could probably, even with the one inch bit, depending on how far I retract it, I might be able to just leave one of these smaller ones on too, but this will work just fine, especially if I'm swapping the boot on and off. So, all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do a cut with this and I don't know, just uh, film the results and see how well it works. But I'm uh, right off the bat just really impressed with the quality of the construction here and all the work to put into this. So again, thanks, John. That's uh, that's truly amazing. I think it's going to work out really well. All right, let's uh, let's get the mill in. All right, so a little blast from the past here. I actually went on to the Etsy site to just check out uh, John's page here from Huntington Builds, and I was I really wasn't sure what this was. I didn't pay that close attention when I ordered this from his page, but this thing is freaking cool. So it goes on your Z gantry, and I will mount it, and I'll show you all this. Uh, it goes on your Z gantry, and it holds your <laughs> dust collection. Um, like this, so keep it out of the way, or whatever way you want to upside down, doesn't really matter. Um, that's freaking epic, so th th that's really going to help out my organization skills, which are quite terrible, I might add. So, hey, John, thanks so much, uh, kudos, and um, this is going to be amazing. All right, now, now it's really time to go get some milling done. All right, so my first cut is done with these new magnetic quick plates that I got from John and Huntington Builds. They worked wonderfully. I could not be more impressed and more excited by these things. Now I did mount mine on the top here on the video he has on the website. It says to mount it from the bottom. I don't think it really matters. I actually think uh, having it from the top will, will reduce any possibility that if you do hit it with your bit, it won't come off. But nevertheless, the quarter inch bit fit perfectly in this slot. The one inch bit fit perfectly in this slot. And I, I'm sure I could go up a little bit higher too. I don't know if my one and a half inch fly cutter will fit through here, but we'll have to try that out at some point because uh, it's definitely required for such a large bit. 
I did not get a chance to use this one, but I'm sure I will in the future. But it worked perfectly. Like I said, everything lined up uh, just where I wanted it to. I uh, didn't hit the bit or anything. I'm sure if I did, it would just pop off, like I said. But uh, it mounted very easily right into the original slot. So kudos to that. I really cannot be more impressed. Now the cut, however, did not really turn out as well as I wanted to. Massive chip out on the top here. I used some different cut settings here, experimenting a little bit. Now, the problem is this padalk is very brittle, and uh, even though I used a down cut bit, it did chip away pretty significantly at the top here. I guess the uh, cutting at uh, 0.2 inches per pass was not a great idea. I will say, however, uh, using the finishing pass on the bolt cutting bit is this thing is completely smooth. Uh, there's no obvious uh, vibrations here on the bit, so that was the way to go. And the finishing pass with the quarter inch bit worked very well as well. So um, that's the tray that we got using the uh, magnetic snap kit from John at Huntington Builds. And despite the tear out that I might have gotten on here and on here, uh, I think it turned out really well. I think it's salvageable. I can uh, probably fill that with a little bit of CA glue and some sawdust. No worries, do a little round over to kind of cover up some of it. Uh, all right, well, that was a video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun to make. It was a lot of fun to open the box and find out what John had put inside. I am super impressed with the build quality of this. I am impressed with how easily it works with the simplicity. It is just a tremendous upgrade to my dust collection arsenal. Now I know that's not a very sexy topic, dust collection that is, but you know, these plates are gonna become so handy as I'm doing different operations, and they've already proved themselves to be incredibly useful. Uh, the largest one that I have here worked exceptionally well for my one inch bowl making bit. Uh, the smallest one here worked really well for that quarter inch end mill. And so I like the fact that they're magnetic. I can actually stick them together. They actually store and clip together like this. And I can just drop them into my dust shoe for later use. I keep them all in one place so I don't lose them, and they're easy to remove and easy to replace. I just think this is amazing. You know, the level of uh, craftsmanship in the part itself is just really top notch. The simplicity is just mind boggling in my mind and I really do, I really do like this. I think it's amazing. So if you get the opportunity to go check out uh, John on his Etsy page or maybe even order yourself a uh, these uh, plates for the dust shoe or even the a little attachment that he provided me at no additional cost uh, for the to hold the dust shoe. I think that's going to come real, really in handy later on whenever I uh, get it attached and get everything working. But um, check him out. He's an awesome dude. Hopefully I'll get a chance to catch up with him. Maybe we'll do a video together. We'll see how it works out. All right. Thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you so much for getting this far. If you like the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, well, I would consider a thumbs up anyway, but tell us why in the comments so we can make future videos better. If you're not already watching me on Instagram, please consider do so. That's where I post pictures of projects like this to become future videos. Once again, thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you so much for getting this far. And don't forget to be inspired. Hi, hello, I am the Cyber Reef Guru. Thank you so much for watching. Today I have received a wonderful prize. <clears throat> no, not a prize, wonderful delivery. <laughs> Clip together like this, and I can just drop them in to my dust shoe here. Whoops. <laughs> and I can just drop them into my dust shoe just like this uh, to store them for later use. Or how about this? There you go. <laughs>